The Hall of Famer, Matt Miller. Matty. Good morning. Jefferson County Prosecuting Attorney, Matt Harvey. Good morning. So does crime rest in Jefferson County between the hours of 8 yes. and 10 on Thursday yes. mornings? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Beautiful. Like Every, everything has to rest. Cooperate. Yeah. Yeah. What about the other 38 hours of the week? Uh, crime oh, it's, all, rest it's as crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's nuts at that time. It's, it's kind of the criminals to cooperate, though, for those two hours. Very nice. We uh, are back with the Friday show tomorrow. I believe the entire crew is with us. Uh, Joe Ferretti, who will join us later this morning from Georgia, endured a harrowing experience when the eye of the hurricane passed right over his home uh, last week. So that was uh, something he'd rather not have, I'm sure, happen. But uh, devastation in the south is really something. When you travel on 81 southbound, you see the highway signs that say travel to western North Carolina uh, uh, not encouraged or whatever it is, uh, mm-hmm. strongly you know, discouraged, whatever the, the wording is on the on the sign, it just kind of really hits you when yeah. you're driving down 81 and you see those signs. That voice you hear is that of Tony Petrucci, Berkeley County Clerk. Tony, good morning to you. Good morning, Rob. Thanks for having me again. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, we'll get more on that from Joe in just a little bit this morning. Tony, uh, first and foremost, we are in the October of an election year. Yes, sir. So I know your office is very busy, mm-hmm. and early voting starts in about two weeks, I think. 23rd, October 23rd for 10 days. Yeah, so two and a half weeks away from that or yes. so, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, and you have uh, an, a, additional locations this year, so up to, yeah, up to three yeah. now? Yeah, we do. We do. It's same as we did in May. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can come down to the Dunn Building where you pay your taxes, of course, and it's going. To, we have a conference room uh, there now that uh, they put together, so there'll be... It, at, at the Dunn Building, the conference room. Also at Beddington and Ruritan, which we had, it was the same as in May, and mm-hmm. also uh, a Pikeside uh, substation, fire station there, uh, which we had in May. Very good. Now, there, yep. there's some confusion on one of the locations. It was probably the one in Pikeside. Yes. Uh, some people probably thought it was in Inwood or whatever, but we put some uh, flashing signs out there through uh, Mr. Uh, Bob Lilly, uh, who helped us out with that. Um, uh, you know, where you see like, yes. signs along the road mm-hmm. uh, that, like the sheriff's department has, uh, don't go over more than 25 miles an hour or something. <laughs> so we've got those electronic Which nobody signs. listens to. Uh, that's right. <laughs> so we, we're, uh, we're, I actually think we're putting them up fairly soon. We mm-hmm. want to get them out there so people would know know that you know they, they could vote there early. So that 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 was probably the only issue we had with that um yeah it's a south berkeley volunteer fire company substation yes 4127 yes. winchester yeah. is that the one you're talking about yes sir that's, okay. the, that's the only one yeah and that's uh then that's actually a pikeside location yes that people it is need to go to. yes mm-hmm. Pikeside. Mm-hmm. Okay. might yeah. i make a recommendation at the beddington one if you combine that with their regular chicken barbecues that are always popular yeah. you might get more voters out <laughs> oh, did you ever you drive might? by there when the chicken oh. barbecues hit yeah Right. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, mm. yeah. That's aroma, baby. It's like those old cartoons. It'll just pick you up by your nose yeah. and yeah. lift you and carry you right there. They yeah. should make a candle out of that. My wife <laughs> is big into candles. All these scented candles. You should have a candle that's chicken barbecue. Of early voting. Oh no, sorry. No. <laughs> candle yeah. early voting. I don't know that I want that though, because if right. I wake up and I smell that and I'm expecting to eat it and I find out it's just a scented candle, <laughs> that's that's. I, I not guarantee good. you, if you wake up and smell that later that day, you're going to be barbecuing some chicken. <laughs> I, I'm sure there's already yeah. candle like that exists there should be i Probably. guarantee I'm gonna... i think there should be one for spaghetti sauce too <laughs> absolutely. because on sunday absolutely. you get a yeah. pot of sauce on early yeah, tony yeah. right simran uh, absolutely that's a there, smell there probably thing. are somewhere maybe got got my daughter's in italy so maybe i'll have her check that out bring some bring you never know in, yeah or, you never know or just bring us out to italy <laughs> with yeah what what uh what city is she in uh rome rome oh very mm. nice yeah yeah her and a few other people went over for vacation Excellent. Yeah. I'm sorry that you're still here with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you lost out on that one, buddy. Oh, pretty much. <laughs> um, let me let me give you some dates real quick before Please. we get into any other conversation you might want to ask me. Um, of course, we are moving uh, from the old courthouse uh, the weekend of Columbus Day. Um, they guaranteed us uh, through IT, the IT department, who's done a great job, along with the um, – uh, office manager and the commission work real well with us. Uh, they have a moving company, so they guaranteed us we'll be in an operation the day after Columbus Day. Mm-hmm. So we'll be moving over to the Dunn Building on the first floor uh, right next to the uh, tax office. Um, mm-hmm. So that's one thing. Uh, last day to vote, 
to register. I'm sorry. It's October 15th. You can come in down to the uh, um, voter registration. Uh, like we mentioned earlier, October 23rd for 10 days, except on Sunday, uh, early voting, and we mentioned the places. Uh, October 30th is the last day we need to get absentee ballots out to our office. Um, November 5th, big election. Um, we are needed some poll workers. So if you know if anybody needs some, wants to work for, on November 5th for poll, it's $300 a day. Uh, we still need a few there. Is that uh, about a 12 hour day? Every bit, 5.30 to 7.30. Yeah. A bit uh, more. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more. Yep. Uh, the number that you need to call if you have any information would be 264, of course it's 304, 264 1989. That's the uh, voter registration office. And what we've done since May, uh, I hired uh, a couple more full time people. Uh, it just didn't seem like we had enough people working in that office. So I, I was able to m maneuver things around, not affect the budget at all, uh, because we had some part-timers that we had to uh, um, remove, and we put uh, some uh, additional full-time help. So we're, we're, we're feel, we feel comfortable that it's going to be better than it was in May. Now, we're still going to probably have some issues if somebody comes to the wrong precinct uh, for whatever reason. They can still vote provisional, uh, provisional ballot. Uh, so we'll, you know, more likely have some of that. But right now, if you're confused and really don't know where to go to vote, call that number or go, and go in, and they'll fix you up. 264-1989. Uh, yes, sir. That, that would be my suggestion if, if you have some concerns of where to vote. Is there still a, a place where you can go on the website where you enter your address and it tells you what your district is? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think. Well, might, a that, few years that, ago, there was there one. There might of those. be. Uh, I can't remember the I'll, email address. I'll text uh, Gary Wine and ask him. Um, I can't remember the name of the email right off the top of my head, mm -hmm. but they, they, they probably they probably is. Yeah, it might it might. Well, I thought I thought it was local, but it might have been on the Secretary of State's website. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can probably get to that through the Secretary of State's. Uh, office but uh the, the easiest way is just to call call, Stacey, call our office stacy burkett said yes the wvsos page so yes you can't that's, do that that's there. it that's okay. it yeah. i can remember that was local or through the SOS yeah. side. uh let me give you some numbers of democrats registered twenty one thousand seven hundred seven. republicans forty thousand two hundred ninety two and this is that this is as of uh, october 1st uh no party which would probably be the independent 30,237. Uh, Libertarian, 1378. Mountain, 203. Other, 246. Total, 94,003 have uh, registered to vote. And that's out of 130,000 yeah, birthday county residents? That, yeah. Is that about right? yeah so that's a lot of people that's registered. Uh, in my opinion, that's a lot. That's seventy-five percent of the population. Yeah. I figure there's children yeah. mixed in there too, mm -hmm. so that's a lot of adults. But uh, exactly, not exactly. not a whole lot of them turn out to vote. Right. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two other things, and then we can you can ask me whatever you want. Um, I had the opportunity. Careful with that open-ended <laughs> <to> offer <laughs> there, Tony. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> I get it all the time. It doesn't. Matter. <laughs> uh, through the. Um, Election systems and hardware that we deal with, ES and S, we were, I, I noticed that we didn't have enough machines. We were right there at, you know, 80 machines, mm -hmm. and I just felt like we didn't have enough. So we were able to negotiate with them to purchase um, 15 more machines at. Uh, they wanted 49,150, but we were. I was able to. Uh, Maneuver it down a little bit to forty-seven thousand six hundred thirty-five dollars per machine uh, total. Oh, for total. the entire purchase. Yes, okay. and it didn't affect the county budget because a few years ago the state legislator put into effect a couple line, line items for the county clerk to be able to purchase books or equipment, and it and it uh, the money occurs each month from the transfer tax from the county. So I took advantage of that. So, you know, we got quite a bit of money that's accumulating. So we were able to do that. Uh, the county 
uh, approve that. And also, the biggest one was, um, it was the HAVA grant. And we were able to uh, have a grant of uh, 235, uh, let me get this right here. Well, of course, you might, you're probably going to know what the HAVA grant stands for. It's, it's Help America Vote Act of 2002. Okay. okay. The total amount was two hundred thirty-five thousand dollars, seven hundred ten, seven hundred ten. We had to match thirty-five thousand of that and a little bit of change. We had that money in those funds that I just talked about, so it didn't affect the county budget at all. So uh, that incurred some of the uh, e poll books that when you come in and register, where you sign your name, mm-hmm. uh, you know, right there on the desk. Uh, we were able to purchase, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff here we got. Uh, it came to 235000 but like I said, um, it, uh, we only had to match 35000 out of that. And we were getting to the point where our equipment was just getting uh, old. Uh, we needed some backup. We, we had some uh, precincts that needed additional uh, poll books besides just one. Uh, so I thought it's, it's time to take advantage of that, and, and hopefully, um, you know, this type of uh, equipment will last um, a good while and, and uh, help out this county with um, what we need. And a lot of this is uh, compatible with what we have. The ET department has worked well with us on um, making sure everything's ready to go on that date. Matt Miller. When it comes to those machines and how they're programmed, I know during the primary, Mm -hmm. when I went to my voting place, there are two different precincts that are voting in the same place. And, um, you know, we were standing in line waiting to get to machines in the precinct that I am in, the opposite precinct. There are a couple of machines nobody's on. Are they pre-programmed in a way that you... you... We'd rather not do that. Okay. Uh, That sort of confuses the system. Mm -hmm. So I know what you mean. There have been issues there, but uh, if you're supposed to vote in Precinct 1, that's where you need to vote. Right. That's but the machine is set up. In other words, you, if yes. you've got five machines, but yep. there's two precincts, yes. three machines are set up yep. for one, two for the yep. other. Yep. Yep. When someone's standing in line and sees one open, and why, why can't that's I go exactly, over there? That's, right. that's the reason. That's right. right. Um, sure. Let me go back to you. You said you still need some help on, mm-hmm. on the, the day, and you mentioned how long the day is. Can someone do part of a day, or when they we, sign up, do they have to do the whole thing? We haven't got to that. It was mentioned back in May, and I made a decision not to do that. Um, you know, since we were having trouble getting poll workers to work mm-hmm. all day, uh, sometimes it gets a little confusing if you split it up, right. which wouldn't be a bad thing. But you know, it takes it just takes more work. You know, if, if somebody calls in. That's supposed to work the four-hour shift, the right. six-hour shift. Then you're then you're there looking at you know, who we go get for that. So maybe in the future um, it would be something to to look at. But uh, no, right now it's a it's a whole day if you if you're a poll worker. You mentioned a date for absentee ballots needing to be April. sent out. Yes, uh, I know. Back in that 2020 election, pretty much anyone could get one. Are we back to the standard way that an absentee ballot mm-hmm. is given yeah. out? Tell us more about Same that. Same way. Well, you can co- you can come in at, at the um, um, county uh, voter registration office, get your application mm-hmm. to fill out, and then bring it back, and then we'll send you a ballot. Simple as that. Reasons needed for that, or yes, do, do I, yes, so yes, I, yes. There's there's several on there. Okay. And, uh, you know, if you're injured, or you know, you're going to be overseas, or mm-hmm. something. But there's there's a list of things that you check off. That's why you that why you want an absentee ballot. If someone can't come to the office, they can make the phone call to the number that yeah, you gave us earlier and, yeah. and get mm-hmm. mailed out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, as long as you you know check out, make sure you're registered and yeah. all that. So um, that they shipped out about six hundred there last week. Okay. Yeah, of absentee ballots. Uh-huh. Do you normally get a lot of those? Yeah, yeah, you normally do. It seems like. Okay. In, in May there were. Now, this is my second election, so I'm going right. to say, I'm, I'm say yes to everything, right? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Mr. Harvey. This was the. <clears throat> was this the first? Excuse me. Was this the first election with the three early voting locations yes. uh, in May? Yes, of pr- the so, primary. So, did was the numbers the early voting totals up for the primary? 
Uh, no. No, we only had about 18,000 people who voted. Do you think that um, that hasn't caught on yet, that it will increase early voting totals? I can, sh- I can tell you um, Beddington and the downtown early uh, voting facility, which is the office, was about neck and neck uh, as far as people. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pikeside was a little low, and yeah, that's what we're trying to figure out. Do we de- need more signage? Yeah, there, were, uh, there was a lot of confusion about Pikeside. Or where to go and that type yeah. of thing. Uh, From so, what I'm told. Yeah, and and, and there were. So we, we've tried to correct that. Um, it was a low turnout. Uh, I was disappointed with that. Um, Did you say 18%? About 18% voted in the, in, in the whole county. So, you know, that's not a whole lot. But well, no, normally in primaries, they're not high anyway. Well, let me ask you a question about that. Do you, and you haven't been in the position too long, but are you familiar with any uh, efforts to cl- clean up the rolls if, if, to remove voters who have, may have moved to another jurisdiction yeah. or passed away? They do that. They do that all the time now. So so if that hadn't been done, that would have that would skew the numbers downward. Yes, yes. Uh, but you're, you don't think that that – is no, a contributing factor. No, no, no. You just think the voter turnout was. I just think the voter poor. turnout was low, and normally in the past, uh, you get less than twenty percent, which is somewhat disappointing when you go through all the the work that the voter registration offices does across probably across the state, and and you know these early voting was uh, areas was the the first um, test run. And I think in the future, down the road, it, it's going to be a good thing for the whole county, uh, especially in Pikeside. That's low turnout, voter turnout. And, and I've heard that before about Berkeley County. Um, it, it, that's a lot of registered Well, when you That's got a that, lot of registered voters. That's a big, powerful voice that's, yeah, there, that's kind of yeah. being it's quiet. A slumbering Not, bear. There's 94,000 people registered. Um, you know, that's one thing that we have in our country that, that, that we, ha- we are allowed to do. It's free. You know, you can go do it. I, 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 my prediction is 80%. 80? That's my prediction. This election? Yeah, 80%. Really? Uh, is it, it's I a, can remember back, back in 2020, it was big. It's pretty high. It was big. Yeah, in 2020, it was what, high. What makes you think that we're going to hit 80%? Uh, everything going on in the federal government trickled down. Because of that, on some major but, state races as well, yeah, obviously. So, so, yeah, the presidency mm-hmm. issue. My, my, just in my opinion. I mean, right, right, right. It, it could be, you know, forty. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll say it was Rob's forty. <laughs> I'll take Which all still, the blame. Forty would still be pretty good well, well, when yeah, you consider yeah, some but of the. I can remember back in twenty twenty. I believe it was twenty twenty. It was over eighty percent the people voted, mm. and. Maybe it was 2016, but it was it was real high, and I, I, I just sense that there's, you know, people want to get out and get them and vote, especially, mm-hmm. early, or, especially early voting. Well, that right. that'll be that'll, the, that'll be a big deal. You know, there's a lot of a lot of states are already open, um, and we get a fair amount of people to early vote. Uh, Tony, is are there any of the machines hooked up in such a way that it's possible to hack a voting machine in Berkeley no. County? No, we are sealed tight. I, I, IT department does an excellent job. Uh, county administrator, Mr. Gary Wine, has assured me there's no way. And they don't get on the Internet either. No. The no, that's machines. the biggest thing. Right. That's correct. There, so, obviously, there were a lot of accusations about the last election being rigged. Uh, vote, uh, uh, some people were, are fairly certain that some votes weren't counted. Some votes were counted two mm-hmm. or three different times. Mm-hmm. What is the security of a vote that is cast in Berkeley County? Uh, in a machine, and then the, how that vote gets ege- eventually to a general counting. Mm-hmm. How does that work? Well, once you go in and, and vote, unless you're a provisional person where you, you know, you're at the wrong place, uh, it it goes in after you vote. If you're in the right precinct, uh, it goes. You get a ticket if you've noticed, right? And it goes into the machine, the tub we call it, and that's that's all handled. That's all stored. Until at the end of the uh, election process, and then at the end of the day, um, it's gathered up by our people, taken into Baltimore Street like we did last last May, and it's t- tabulated through um, 
our people and the uh, election system software people we have they they usually come there and make sure everything's okay with what we're doing and the process right there right then is there an opportunity for someone to say that's a box of democratic votes let's just throw those in the dumpster no. out back no no we don't have that and when you do the canvassing you effectively cross-reference the votes to make sure that if someone on, voted, it's been counted? On the provisionals, yes, yes. Uh, the pr- provisional ballots aren't, or if, if you're not registered, you, you can vote. Mm-hmm. You're allowed to vote, but it doesn't go into the machine. Mm-hmm. It, it's The ticket is handled through another process. We hold that until um, the day of, uh, of uh, when the, commission, the, the county commission uh, takes a look at the vote. And if somebody wants a recount, how does that process work via your office? Well, if they want a recount, it depends on what, what um, um, if it's a county commissioner race or whatever, manually, we'd have to go through and do, do that. So with every election, aren't a couple of precincts selected randomly yes. and audited? Yeah, exactly, yes. With a hand count? Yes, we do that. Uh-huh. Yep, that's, that's the standard with, I think it's the law. Tony uh, was asked to have you recount some of the dates that you mentioned early in the show. Could you go back and recapture oh, those for us one more time? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, October 15th is the last day to register. Uh, October 23rd, for 10 days after that, except Sunday, is early voting at those three three places. Okay. Um, eight to five during the week. On Saturday, I believe there's one Saturday, 9 to 5. Um, October 30th is the last day we have to get absentee ballots out uh, through our office. November 5th is the election, mm-hmm. and we have a phone number, which I gave you, was 304-264-1989, which is the Voter Registration Office. You mentioned getting the absentee ballot out. When does it have to be back? Do, by you, no, it has to be postmarked by November 5th. So postmarked. Yes. If it's st- you know stamped on that date, you're good. It counts. If it's after that, it's no good. But we know our postal service, you stamp it on the 5th, it may get to you the it 10th. Might, it, it might be so later than that, you, yeah. You've got to kind of hold yeah, everything. It, there's, there, there's some issues there <laughs> with that. They don't give you a lot of leadway there so this the, October 30th day. I don't know why. The canvas is the week after. The canvas is the week after, exactly. Yeah, with the county commission. So, and that's where they take up provisional ballots. Correct. And, and tabulate in any that, that's uh, right. mail-in ballots that's been received. That's right. Um, some of the provisionals will be counted. Some aren't. It all depends the situation. How, yeah. how close the election is, who we want to win. That's how we determine who's vote <laughs> absolutely, counter. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. Standard yeah, stuff. Yeah, Pretty standard that's, stuff. That's, that's it. That's it. Does does the county also uh, tabulate results for municipal elections? No. All right, Tony, let's talk about the real stuff here. What's going on with Notre Dame football this year? How could you lose that game? How could you possibly lose that game? <laughs> well, you know, it's a funny thing. I looked research. Northern Illinois hadn't won a game since. <laughs> Yeah, I know. 0-2. So I, I I guess it was a freak thing um, with that, same way it was with Marshall last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, they they went on a rampage where they didn't win much. Um, they don't have a very strong schedule, which concerns me, for the playoffs. So um, my prediction is they're going to have a pretty good season. They're going to win some games, but they're not going to be up there in the uh, – the big with the big boys they'll make the top 12 though don't you think? i don't think so you don't think they'll get no. in top 12 no i don't think they will interesting okay all right tony thank you you're welcome uh, by the way those locations once again that's the berkeley county admin building 400 west stephen street for early voting beddington rotan at 3947 williamsport pike and uh south berkeley volunteer fire company that is a substation in pike Pike side. side, yes. Please go to Pike Side for that. That created some confusion last year. Let's, or let, I should say in the primary. It's nine o'clock. Tony, have a great day. Thank you very much. This is Talk Radio WRI Martinsburg and TV Ten. More to come after this.